Hey, this is Jordan with ScienceFiction.com, and we're here with Chris Gaslin from Dark Horse, who's a product development manager for all their awesome new collectibles and things like that. So, Chris, what can you tell us about some of your new uh, collectibles for the con? Well, we had some announcements earlier. Uh, we have some great new Game of Thrones. Uh, we have we have a figure of uh, Varys that's going to be coming out in April uh, that we just introduced, uh, finely detailed. Um, and then we also have the Knights King bust and his iconic pose as he as he raises the dead. And that's going to be available uh, sometime in the in the spring. Uh, the price is to be determined on that one. Um, some other announcements that we had for the show. We have the uh, Halo 5 Covenant Banshee ship replica and the uh, Halo 5 UNSC Prowler ship replica that we're going to be introducing uh, next year to go along with the uh, show exclusive uh, Halo UNSC Pelican uh, dropship replica, um, the silver variant that we had as an exclusive here at New York Comic Con. Um, and then we have our um, other Halo ships that are going to be coming out in, uh, in the next few months. Um, we have the Infinity ship replica. Uh, which will be out uh, actually later this month, um, the Covenant uh, Truth and Reconciliation ship replica, and the uh, Pillar of Autumn coming in the next few months also. Um, another big uh, announcement that we had was um, this uh, statuette of uh, Aang uh, from Avatar The Last Airbender uh, is going to go along nicely with uh, uh, the Legend of Korra, uh, Korra statuette uh, from Nickelodeon. So, so those are some of our bigger announcements uh, that we had at the show. Uh, we also have all of our Game of Thrones figures um, that have been coming out. I think we're up to 24 in total now. We have um, several of these are new, right? Uh, yeah. The top four here aren't, uh, aren't quite out yet. They'll be available uh, in March. We have uh, Oberyn Martell, uh, Ygritte, Marjorie uh, Terrell, and uh, Grey Worm. And then we have some other great products, like we have a Titan of uh, Bravo statue that's coming. Uh, of course, we have our Game of Thrones Joffrey Baratheon uh, mini replica that's a, an exclusive to the con also uh, that's selling really well. We collaborate a lot with the, the licensors like HBO. Um, they have a lot of input as to what characters they want to see come forward. Um, we have some ideas of our own. We immediately wanted to do the Night's King bust right after that episode uh, last season and uh, they were all for it. So, And then you know the same thing with uh, working with Microsoft and Halo. Um, they have their ideas of what ships they'd like us to do, and we have our input as well, so we kind of just collaborate. Uh, and, uh, what about, um, you guys also have a series of uh, Zelda statues, is that right? Yeah, we're distributing these Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword um, figures, these vinyl figures. Um, we have Link and Skirbo, they're going to be coming out in December. Um, and uh, we, we had previously another Link figure um, from Twilight Princess, um, as well as uh, Ganondorf that we're currently selling in our store. Uh, I know you also have uh, the goon statue on hand. Is that actually out yet? Yeah, the goon statue uh, is available in our store right now. Um, and we also have a cute little goon plush uh, for, uh, you know, so you can cuddle up at night with your with your goon plush if you uh, are so inclined. That'll be that'll be coming out in December. So what other uh, awesome new products can we expect in the immediate future from Dark Horse based on your own properties? I know you guys are doing great with Halo. You're doing great with uh, Game of Thrones. But what else can we expect based on the iconic Dark Horse comics that we all know and love? Well, that's a good question. Um, well, I'm, I'm sure we're going to be doing some more Hellboy product uh, coming in the near future. Um, we're going to be doing some, uh, working on some more Legend of Korra and Avatar since we're doing both. We announced that we're doing the Legend of Korra comics uh, coming soon. So we'll be doing more with uh, Nickelodeon on that. Um, other than that, I don't have any more other information uh, as far as tie-ins to pro uh, uh, like our comic series um, at this point. But we will have more uh, announcements in the future. Perfect. And now, if you had to pick one product right now, it's like your favorite thing you've actually had to work on so far that you guys have in display case here today. What would you say it is? What's the coolest thing you think you guys brought out today? Oh, uh, definitely the, the nice King bust the nice King from bust? Game of Thrones. Yeah, we okay. were we were very pleased to see how well it came out. Uh, we just got it right before the show from our sculptor, and it was lights out. So HBO loved it. So we're happy. Well, perfect. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks. This is Jordan for ScienceFiction.com with Dark Horse.